good morning traders welcome to the Elliott Wafer Street weekly update I'm Juan Maldonado and it's a pleasure to start the week with some of our wave counts today we're going to start with the euro today in the morning I share with with our membership uh, clients this a uh, trade on uh, on the on the euro let me bring it up here again something happened okay sorry there we go so 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 here we have the 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 setup the plan uh, was to sell at the 104.70 with the protective stop loss at the 105.05 and a take profit at one so let's go through that trade also uh, I want to show you a nice trade that we follow here on the euro pound on the 87.84 uh, uh, with the stop loss at the 88.25 and a take profit at the 85.80 so was a good trade as well this is part of the Elliott Wafer Street membership because I believe it's important to learn uh, checking the live markets every day so 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 that's the, the 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 main plan here so let's have a look at the the euro first of all on the four hour chart is something that we know is that when someone is mm, losing money uh, someone else is making that money that's that's the 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 nature the nature of the of the business so the there is a big guy the the big guy is Goldman Sachs Citibank this set of big institutions the the market dealers the the ones that are making uh, a lot of money almost all, all all the time right and uh, the the plan of this big guy is to take out participants from the market so imagine uh, those who went short here 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 whatever or maybe here 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 or here uh, they they are placing their their, their protective stop loss uh, probably above this high right some of them there are different strategies but clearly this is a good liquidity area the price today comes up there and takes out a lot of them and rejects during that rejection process we went short today in the morning so let's have a look at the hourly chart let's see how it looks so when we were seeing this candle this rejection candle of course at the area that we were looking for finding liquidity right uh, that's below the low of the candle we went short right and still price on the euro can uh, complete the pattern let's say something like this in that case soon we're going to book some profits here take out half of the trade and keep the other half active and if the price makes the high we're going to sell it again but what if this is it could be right this could be the top so in that case we're going to hold the trade all the way down to the one area but it's going to be a risk free trade soon once it reaches a, a 35 points so far we are just 20 points from the entry and we need a little bit more to have a safe trade but it's looking nicely the the way the price is moving nicely to the downside so pretty pretty good setup let's have a look at the euro pound uh, this is a trade that we started on November the 14th look here we have the sell stop at the 87.84 so I'm going to share with you why we sell there and how Elliott Wave can help us to find these trades so I remember that day we were in the live analysis that's one one benefit if you sign up for the membership that you are going to check also the the older videos you're going to have access to the previous videos as well so you are going to check the the narrative and the work we have been doing before right so the plan that day uh, was we, we were here and uh, on this area and, and the plan was having a price moving above a and reject but something interesting of this setup is that the that the move up was pretty aggressive so we can't do anything 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 here until the price moves back under a and closes below a as you can see on this candle was the signal 
but uh, the stop was a little bit high in terms of points. You know, I like to use 40, 30 points most of the times in my setups, in my swing trade setups. And I wait a little bit more and I was able to trigger at the 83, 87, 83 area. So in this area, I went short with the protective stop loss here. When the price did this leg down, I booked some profits. I like to use that technique, you know, but I believe it's pretty personal, uh, the, the money management part of the open trade. Some traders want to go the, the whole position. I don't like that. I, I like to book some partial profits. And the, the price comes here, rejects. So we book some extra profits. We leave a fraction of the trade and finally breaks down in the direction that we were looking coming to the target 8580 that was the target so 200 points on this setup of course each trader can navigate the leg in different ways right some traders can keep the whole position during the, the whole trade some others will be more conservative and they will they will wait for um they, they will book partial profits as i do you know, i like to to book some partial profits during the road so of course there are different strategies but uh, that was mainly the the frame of the trade now now what's next the next step in this plan is having the completion of wave two here a b and c and here we go again so that same process that i just described here we're going to do it again after these two we're going to sell it and we want to capture the big wave three coming up after two so of course we are going to follow through this concept this trading plan in the in the membership uh, to give you a precise entry to follow the leg down validating the the end of the waves is an important skill when you are using the other wave theory because it's not just the wave count it's not just learning the rules and learning the guidelines is also learning how to find the end of the wave because that's where the trade happens when you have when you find the end of the wave is when the trade happens let's have a look at the s p the, the s p is pretty interesting let's have a look at the at the daily chart on the daily chart we have to be careful with the bullish scenario because we are getting closer to a resistance area so look here a price is getting closer to that resistance area and that's telling that we, we could be soon finding the end of wave a uh, one and here we're going to work with two scenarios the main one is having some sort of abc rejecting this area and going long here and the the second scenario is having some big candles happening here of course the difference between one and the other is, is clear right the speed of the price and in that case uh, we, we could get ready for having a lower low on the s p so for both cases i'm looking this week for a sell trade on the s p that's my 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 main uh, bias or my main plan uh, to follow this week finding the the end of this wave to get to get short and then decide if we close the short trade and go long or if we keep the short trade it depends on on the reaction of the candles here it depends on how the price shows up so if we move to lower time frames now understanding the big picture you can see how important is the big picture uh, the main plan for today is is having one more leg up on the s p I think is spending is missing one more leg up and here at the rejection I want to sell it right so so at the rejection I want to sell it and I want to start a position in short as I explained on the daily chart to find out which scenario is going to confirm all right traders so that's the plan for this week if you want to join us in our membership on elliotwaferstreet.com we have a fantastic uh, membership that includes education includes a uh, live market analysis includes uh, trading ideas 
and a lot of resources to master your Elliott wave counts to understand how to use properly the, the wave counts. I have been doing this for years since um, 2008 when I started my trading a career. So this is a, a great resource for Elliott wave traders that look for precise entries, that look for understanding the end of the of the waves and the cycles and institutional cycles and price action and we talk a, a, about different things here inside the membership so you can find here all the details and if you have questions contact us here on top you have our whatsapp number and the and the and the support email and we have this special the first month 19 dollars so you can try for just 19 dollars then 75 dollars per month you can pick the Forex, the stocks, or the full access, and you will get immediate access to the platform to check the previous reports, to check the report from today, to check the charts and everything. All right, traders, please have a fantastic start of your week. I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.